Fadi Musali, you're regional director of, uh, inter of the uh, International Capital Group for your company. Uh, what are you occupying yourself with at the moment? Okay, uh, I am part of the business development team of Jones Lang LaSalle as a whole. I'm based in Dubai and I'm in charge of establishing relationship with various investors. Some of them would invest onshore and some of them invest overseas. And in all that, my job is to get to understand the investment guidelines of those investors and try and match the right product, be it a development land in the GCC area or uh, office building in London, New York, or Sydney. So my job has two aspects, a regional one and an international one. What are you, uh, where are you seeing the demand at the moment uh, for these investors? I mean, in terms of overseas, what are, what are they kind of aiming at? If you're talking about overseas, then it's very much a story about UK, UK, and UK. The problem is, uh, I mean, it's not, it's not necessarily a problem. It's just that for historical reasons, and for, I would say, currency situation, and for the fact that London corrected the most in terms of real estate, uh, there is, we are witnessing a massive interest of, uh, of uh, investors from the Middle East looking to invest in London property. And therefore, uh, I am kind of doing that at the moment. Three days ago, there is a very big transaction that Jones Van Glassal advised the buyer on, the buyer is from the Middle East. He bought and, and leased back the Credit Suisse building in Canary Wharf. That was a, a, a very big transaction in terms of volume because we are talking about 155 million pounds. And they bought that uh, building and leased it back to Credit Suisse. So in reality, it's like buying a bond on Credit Suisse and enjoying about a yield of about 5.9%, which offers a good arbitrage opportunity versus buying the plain vanilla bond of Credit Suisse itself. Interesting. Um, has there been interest in the uh, distressed U.S. properties, which uh, one has also heard quite a bit about? Yeah, I mean, distress is a word that uh, it's, it's the flavor of the month and maybe the year. And definitely in the U.S. there was uh, a few opportunities that I can label as distressed. Uh, the reality is there was a lot of interest in those from investors from the Middle East and those investors from the Middle East, the big institution, have reviewed some of those in, in opportunities but as far as I know, uh, no one ended up pulling the trigger. Now, this being said and as we speak, I have strong evidence because my job is to advise those institutions, uh, I have strong evidence that there are still reviewing uh, investment opportunities in the U.S. and particularly in New York, Manhattan. Are most of your uh, Middle East investors from the UAE or, or uh, are they scattered in other countries? I cover the whole Middle East and therefore you are right, there is, I would say, a, a constant, big concentration of them in the UAE and we are talking here sovereign wealth fund, uh, institution, pension fund, high net worth individuals. So there is a big concentration in the UAE. However, my job covers the whole region and this investor this uh, transaction i was just mentioning in london took place with an investor from lebanon mm -hmm. and therefore i covered the whole middle east uh, it can be qatar it can be saudi arabia it can be oman or kuwait wherever the capital is coming from my job is to take it from this region into overseas market and also try and find home investment opportunities in the region also